Hello everybody, Nick here at Scott and Dickey again. We appreciate you stopping by for another weekly tech video. Just like last week's video with the valve springs, our camshaft popularity has picked up quite a bit. And so, today's video, we're covering camshaft core materials. We're covering what these things are made out of because there's a bunch of different materials that LS and LT cams are made out of. For instance, I have one of our race shop cams here in my hand, but I also have another roller cam here for actually a custom engine project you'll be learning about in just a few months. So not gonna spill the beans just yet, but it's definitely good to have them here side by side so you can see. And all roller camshafts are usually made out of a steel cam instead of like an iron, like a flat tappet. They need to be, they need to be a little bit tougher. This surface not only does need to be to a nice polished finish, but it needs to be a little bit harder. And you might be seeing some of these core numbers, like this is made out of a 5150 steel, an 8660, 8620, you know, billets here and customs there. As simple as I can put it, what these numbers mean to you and me in layman's terms is the hardness of these camshafts. It is literally the material it's made of, how tough it is, how strong it is, and how hard the surface is. The reason for that is because a lot of our SDR camshafts, like the one here, the ones you guys have probably been buying lately, well, they're a lower lift camshaft. They're designed to work with the B high valve springs we were talking about last week. They're designed to work with factory LS7 roller lifters. Cheap, durable, long lasting. That was a 5150 core. That's the same core that GM uses. It's actually the same core a lot of cam manufacturers use for OEM applications and mild performance applications. It is inexpensive and it is tough. So that's why we can sell cams cheap that we know are gonna last a long time. But if you've probably noticed, we have some cams and other manufacturers have some cams. They're much bigger in specs, bigger duration, much higher lifts. They don't offer them on a 5150 core. They step up to like an 8660 or maybe even an 8620 billet. And you're wondering why? Well, they have to be stronger. They have to be tougher. The surface finish, finish is much stricter. And of course they run much harder rollers on the lifters to handle the extra abuse and RPMs, as well as the valve springs themselves. It all translates back down to what's hitting this camshaft. It needs to be a lot tougher. So our less expensive camshafts, our more entry level and mild performance camshafts are made out of the same cores that OEM manufacturers use from Ford, Dodge, Chevy, imports, it doesn't matter. They're usually all made out of that 5150 steel. Then it goes on, to the bigger and badder stuff, well, they get the more expensive, but way more durable 8660. And of course, some cam, uh, camshaft manufacturers do offer their camshafts in the milder grinds in an 8660. That's for people that just want a peace of mind. But for us, we've seen the durability testing and we have seen them push to the limits even further and they are plenty strong. So that's why you'll see some of our entry level cams 5150 like this here and this one at the table or maybe an 8660 for you guys that really are pushing them harder maybe even a low lash solid roller from a company like cam motion that stuff has got to be tough we appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos we know you guys are always uh, tuning in to see you know what kind of information we can give on anything from camshafts to valve springs cylinder heads intake manifolds whatever we can share to help out hot rodders like you and me please give us a like subscribe and share on both facebook and youtube we're always trying to spread this information to help out everybody. We will see you Friday for another weekly tech video. Thanks for stopping by.